Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. So not only did the rest of the Bilgewater champions get revealed, but also the rest of the Bilgewater cards for the entire set. On top of that, the patch came out today. These cards are all playable today, so I'm going to give my first impressions of the rest of the cards. I'm going to look through the reveal trailers and also going to machine gun through the cards that were revealed one by one. All right, so with that, let's get into it. Let's try and make this quick. All right, let's go Nautilus. Copy tossed allies that cost four plus. All right, immediate Maokai synergy. Just toss four. So there's him tossing a bunch of stuff. Really cool animation. Sea monster allies cost four less. <laughs> He's a 13 13. Summon three vicious plate worms. That's just kind of crazy, isn't it? Three eight eights. crazy he's so powerful but he takes a long time to get going once you uh get the momentum and you get to late game and you're able to pull off what was just shown in the trailer you will steamroll the game and there is nothing the enemies can do about it except for like nine ruinations right <laughs> uh other than that obvious synergy with maokai it's going to be really cool to have them tossing cards together so there's plenty of cards to support that archetype uh, along with getting value from the tossed cards, both Maokai and Nautilus have cards that can gain value from tossed uh, cards from the deck. So really cool to see that synergy. Really uh, fun deck that I'm going to try out. Next is Gangplank. The Staple Pirate. Summon a Powder Keg. I won't stop coming for those who wronged me. Powder Keg stack, all your spells and skills deal one extra damage. So you remember in the last video when I was talking about Warning Shot being amped up with spell damage? I was already ahead of the curve. This is exactly what I was talking about. Load the ship. We've work to do. Deal one to anything. That's so Got insane. It's gonna deal three there, three there, so both parts of Parley get amped. He's got 6 HP when he's leveled up. Wow. I'm sure Hecra misses that. Uh, Gangplank seems really strong. Uh, spell damage decks are now a thing, essentially, with Powder Keg, so that's going to be really cool to see the combos and potentially even OTKs that come out from this deck. Next, we got Twisted Fate, who has by far my favorite level up animation, and I'm going to make it my intro, starting probably after this video. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Twisted Fate is extremely flexible. His stats suck though, holy crap. Four minute two two. I'm always up for a round or two. So on play you get to pick one of these cards. I don't think it's luck. Is it stacking the odds. All three are good to be honest. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. This. Oh. Oh! Oh, God, it's so clean. I'm going to interrupt this real quick. My apologies. But 
I used to be really into card magic, you know, and party tricks and stuff like that. And what Twisted Fate just did is known as a card flourish, where you skillfully, you know, play with the cards between your fingers and make it look really sick. And that's... It, it's just so clean the way they did it. The animation's so nice. Uh, I can't quite do what he does here, but I can do a triple cut, which is pretty sick. Let's watch it again. It's so cool. <laughs> uh, God, I'm such a nerd. Four minute three three. The first three times I see you play a card each round, I play Destiny. So you can get up to three of his uh, color cards so around. There you go. Start with a blue to refill some mana. Get a red. And then get a yellow. It doesn't look like he chose. So it might be random. Serpentine. Pretty good. I love it. So Twisted Fate doesn't seem like a build around, but he is a toss in, you know? <laughs> Not to be confused with toss the mechanic. Alright, he's he's a shoe in sometimes because of his incredible flexibility and uh, power that he brings innately from his passive card throw. Alright, final champion, Misfortune. Fortune favors the bold. Pretty cool reveal. Shot. You've got it, Captain. Look alive! Captain's here! Keep firing till they're dead on the ground. Right away! Uh, Miss Fortune does a lot of damage. She brings absolutely no utility <laughs> and just brings a whole shit ton of damage, just like in League, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how to feel about Miss Fortune, honestly, because in the trailer, those were extremely set up scenarios. Uh, and that's comparing them to the other champion reveals too. Uh, I have no idea how she's going to play out. I think she seems really good. And she's really good against uh, token decks and zoo decks because she can do, you know, AoE damage on attack and kill off like spiderlings, you know, and stuff like that. So I think she'll have a place. I just don't know where it is yet. All right, let's machine gun through the rest of the cards that were revealed. Most of them are just uh, minions, spells, you know. No more epic champions, no more insane level ups. Now we just got the normal cards. So what haven't we seen yet? We got one mana, one one. When allies attack, deal one damage to the enemy nexus. Um, face card, very aggressive. Uh, will be pretty good with scouts because scouts can attack twice. One mana, two one. Dreg dredgers, when I'm summoned, toss three. Good in Maokai Nautilus decks. We've already seen Fizz. Uh, one mana, two, two, Dragon Butcher, Plunder, grant me one, one. So if you've already done damage to the enemy Nexus before playing him, that's what Plunder is. So you d deal damage to the Nexus, then play him, he gets plus one, plus one. So one mana, three, three potentially after damaging Nexus with maybe a spell like Warning Shot. Ah, two card, one mana, three, three. That's kind of powerful. 
Alright, Jailbreak. Uh, one mana slow spell, summon a random one cost follower from any faction. Uh, so a spell version of just summoning a 1-1. One, one. Uh, can be good with spell synergies. One mana, toss four. Good card for Maokai Nautilus. Parley. I like that. So deal one to anything. If it kills it, deal one to the enemy nexus. Very good with powder kegs, as we saw in the Gangplank trailer. One mana, one one. Oh, a new Poro. That's insane. Let's go, Poros. Plunder. Grant me two random keywords. So, like, challenger, tough, fearsome, elusive, that kind of stuff. Uh, one mana, one two. When I'm summoned, draw one fleeting next round so you have to use it the next turn or it disappears from your hand that's very risky if you draw a high cost card but i guess if you're playing all one and two drop deck then <laughs> uh it's pretty good uh another one mana one one fearsome and elusive that's kind of a weird combination all right uh attune so it gains one spell mana on play good card E been warned. Given the enemy vulnerable this round, if it dies this round, draw a card. That's really good for one mana, actually. Two mana, two, two, black market merchant. When you draw an enemy. Wait, when you draw an enemy card, reduce its cost by one. Draw one. Oh, plunder. Draw one from the enemy deck. They, they should have had this backwards. <laughs> I <laughs> should just put the plunder part first. Then his effect makes more sense. Okay. So you're making your enemy draw. No, no, no. You're taking one card from their deck and then reducing its cost. Oh, this guy's a little bastard, ain't he? I like him. Two mana, one, two. When I'm summoned, create a random one cost spell in hand. Good. Two mana, two, two. When I'm summoned, summon a powder keg. That's good. Hired gun. When I'm summoned, grant, me strong grant the strongest enemy vulnerable so something else can take it out or she can test the board early. Uh, both effects are powerful because vulnerable is permanent. Make it rain, deal one, two, three different random enemies. Uh, if they only have three on the board, of course you're hitting all three of those, so that's really good. They have, you know what? I think Piltover and Bilgewater is gonna have some good ass removal, especially with Powder Kegs being able to amp up Mystic Shot. And you know, Mystic Shot being able to target the enemy Nexus. Uh, I don't like where that's going. I'll stop there <laughs> before I make something cancer. Summon a bunch of Powder Kegs, good. Draw a card from the enemy deck. Plunder, draw another one. Dude, what's up with drawing cards from the enemy deck? That's such an insane mechanic, actually, because you can take their combo pieces, uh, you can take their champions. That's ah, just not okay. It's like Burgle, but better. Uh, double trouble, summon two random one cost followers from any factions, so double up on the jailbreak. It's the same art, too. I think that's really funny, actually. Uh, Golden Narwhal, we haven't seen yet. Elusive, but he can be challenged by anything well, that seems kind of bad doesn't it um plunder grant one cost allies everywhere one zero so that's in deck in oh this can get so out of control so fast uh just give her a couple turns give everything in your deck to zero it's just kind of insane actually three mana four one with challenger when i'm summoned create a random sea monster in hand Ooh, this is a really good challenger unit this is better than what we already have because you're getting something out of it. It's like a smaller version of the uh, Demacia card that pulls an elite to your hand. This is better though, because it's cheaper. Lure of the Depths, Burst. Reduce the cost of sea monster allies everywhere by one. Draw sea monster. All right. I like the sea monster uh, tribe, by the way. Very cool. You've seen MF, Monkey Idol, Immobile. Cannot attack, cannot defend. Round start, deal two to me and summon a powder monkey. Ephemeral, uh, last breath, deal one to the enemy next is you do one. Okay, so it's multi-turned. Uh, it's very okay. A little lackluster in my opinion, but there's probably gonna be some jank combos that come out of him. Petty officer, summon a powder keg, or a random one cost ally from any faction. What? You get to choose? That's awesome. Three minute, three one, that was a little weak. Uh, I like his card art though. Pick a card, shuffle a card from hand into your deck to draw three, and they're fleeting at the next round start. Oh, damn, that's kind of risky, but if you're like, uh, you have high mana, so you're late into the game, this is a really good refuel card. Pocket aces, when drawn, cost one less this round, grant an ally to one, seems good. Sleight of hand. Draw a random non-champion from the enemy hand. Oh, I just take something out of it, all right. 
Dude, this whole like taking from the enemy is such a bastard idea. I'm going to hate that. Three mana is your three. Because like, how do you play around this, to be honest? Sorry, slot bot, I'm interrupting your reveal over here. Like, it just seems so unfair to have to think about the enemy pulling cards from the top of your deck and from your hand. Okay, slot bot, back to you. Round start, grant me zero one for each card you drew last round, then shuffle my stats. <laughs> That's so cool. So, <laughs> like, let's say this goes off once. He can be a zero four, and that gets shuffled. It can be a two two, a three one, a one three. That's so neat. Uh, four mana, four five. To play me, discard two, attack, draw two, and they're fleeting. This is really risky, but I like it. Premium stats. It's called the uh, Chill Wind Yeti over here. Show them the waters. Yep, seen that. When I'm summoning, create a random one cost unit from any faction and grant it Scout. So we've got some Scout synergy, which I figured Demacia Bilgewater with Scouts. Oh, oh. give me a good deck. Transform an ally into a random five cost follower from any faction. He's a 2 2 himself. Mystifying Magician. I like the theme they went with. Really funny. Playful Tricks to have seen. Riptide Stun an enemy. Shuffle that unit into the enemy deck if there's an ally Nautilus. That is sick. That is really good. That is non conditional hard removal, essentially. Salvage. Uh, first, toss two, draw two. Really good card from Maokai Nautilus. That goes without being said. Sea Monster, yeah, this guy's deep, so he becomes a 7-7 when you have 15 or less cards in your deck. Uh, so anyone with deep has plus 3, plus 3 under those conditions. Twist of Fate we've seen. Yordle Grifter. When I'm summoned, create a warning shot in hand. That's really good to get these for free. Warning shots are scary. Allegiance, draw one from the enemy deck. Okay, so you run uh, Mono Bilgewater. Sounds good to me. I like mono decks. Zap Sprayton, 4 mana 2 2. When I'm summoned, draw a spell that costs 3 or less from your deck. He's going to give you 1 spell mana on play, and he's elusive. 4 mana 2 2 is kind of weak, but overall, a uh, decent value that you get. Because uh, you can you can kind of force what spell this is if you play a low amount of them. 5 mana 3 3. Nexus Strike, draw a card. He's elusive and deep. Really good. Uh, kind of like his card art too. Scary fish boy, me likey. Gangplank of scene. Hunting fleet, 5 mana, 7, 7. Oh, we're getting to the high cost stuff, by the way. When I'm summoned, summon a golden narwhal for your opponent. And the golden narwhal was the elusive thing that we saw earlier that can be challenged. So it's not a very good card. Giving it to your opponent here is probably fine. 5 mana, 4, 4. Grant the enemy vulnerable. And he's a scout. We got scouts in Bilgewater. Let's go. That deck is going to be so hard to fight. It's going to be so aggressive. It's going to run your ass down. I love it. Five mana, four, four, elusive attoon. Six mana, four, five. Heal allies in your Nexus three, then rally. I've seen him before, actually. Mr. Citrus Boy. We got a sea monster here. Devour the depths. Play, obliterate an enemy with less health than me. So again, if he, you are 15 or less cards in your deck, he will obliterate an enemy that has six or less health because he'll be at seven. Uh, is this choice or is this random? It doesn't seem like it's random, so that is a really strong card. He's like Vengeance, but also better because it's obliterating, which is removing them from play, bypassing any uh, last breath effects. Double up, six mana spell. Ooh, all right. Deal two to an enemy unit. If it kills it, deal four to the Nexus. This is amped with spell damage to the nth degree. This is absurdly powerful. This is a win condition on its own i swear you are going to lose so many games to just double up ko's this is worse than ezreal with mystic shot and get excited this is more frustrating and more powerful i can tell just by looking at it sheriff laudiet rose when i'm summoned grant all enemies vulnerable pretty good strong arm place a follower in play into your hand if you plunder so you can take an enemy minion yeah that's pretty good nautilus we've seen i love him toss three deal seven to a singular unit wow you really fuck that one unit up when i summon toss two and shuffle two treasures uh what are these treasures keel breaker if i'm tossed draw me instead and deal five to all units if I'm tossed, draw me instead, summon three vicious plate worms. If this gets resolved, you just kind of win. If you're deep. Oh, I have to go all the way back down. Alright. 
Smooth Soloist, yep, we've seen Siren. Scout, draw Misfortune. So we got another search card. Seven mana though. So this is probably going to be finding you your second or third Misfortune. When I'm attacking, all your spells and skills deal one extra damage. That's really strong. Mind Meld. This round set all allies' power and health to the number of spells you've played this game. What? Set all allies power and health to the number of spells you've played this game? So if you've played 10, everything is going to be at 10-10. Yo, this is really good in the Fizz decks, right? This is the Fizz win condition. Let's go take a look at them real quick. When you cast a spell, give me elusive and stop enemy spells from targeting them. You cast a bunch of spells, you know, and the attuned minions are like... small, right? So if you're playing a bunch of those, it doesn't matter how small they are because you can mind meld them into an army of 10 10s and just kind of win the game outright especially if you can somehow put overwhelm on one or two wow all right riptide rex that's one of the best names ever cannon barrage seven times on random enemies cannon barrage deal two to a unit if it's dead or gone deal one to the enemy nexus instead okay so uh big aoe boom damage also deal damage to nexus big boom guy i like him Dreadway, uh, draw a Gangplank, so another search card, double all damage dealt by allies. Oh! Uh, 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 okay. <sighs> and that looks like it is it, because I covered all of the, oh, what is this, Grant an ally, I can't take damage or die. Ah, I didn't cover all this, actually. There's some new stuff. Choose an enemy, two allies, strike it, ooh, sick. Uh, summon, give other allies 1-1 one, one this round. I think I might have seen this one, but it's a scout with challenger. It's really strong. Let's see some more Freljord stuff. Give an enemy unit Frostbite and Vulnerable. So we got another Frostbite card for Ash, which is good. Grant the top 3 units to your deck 1-1. One, one. Plunder, draw one of them. Yo, Freljord, Bilgewater. That's insane. That's really powerful. Like, imagine if you Omen Hawk something first, and then you use Shared Spoils, attack with Omen Hawk, and it gets through. Then you're drawing something that has a plus two, plus two stat line on turn two. Of course, you can't play it that turn, but you can play it on turn three, which is still really valuable. Aurora Porealis! That is the best card in the set! In terms of name. Uh, create two random Poros from any region and two Poro snacks. Yo, Poros got buffed. It's actually over. It's the best deck. I can't even fathom playing something besides Poros. I'm um, just eyeballing some of these cards here. Uh, also, I'm going to put the link to all the reveals and this website in the description below, so don't you worry about that. I got you guys. If you want to check out all this stuff yourself and try to theory craft some decks before you craft them, alright? Got you. Uh, this shit is nice. I don't really care about Lee Sin too much, but I think he's powerful. He's going to have some really jank deck uh, moments. Armored Tusk Rider. I only take damage from enemy units with 5 plus power. Oh, that's convenient. He only has 5 HP. So he's very strong and he has Overwhelm. I like the theme of Noxus, of just like, we're at war. <laughs> we're in the middle of a war with these card arts. Uh, P and Z. Patrol Wardens. When I'm drawn, I cost one less this round. Yep, seen you. You're the Sump Dredger on steroids. Oh, we're bringing the cat from Catastrophe into other cards. Sub Percible. Elusive. When I'm summoned, draw one. Then if you played at least ten other cards with different names, grant me four zero. So we're also continuing the theme of Catastrophe of playing um, multiple cards with different names. Very cool. I like him. Shadow Isles, the most important region, no bias. Kill and I summon two saplings. When I'm summoned, toss three. Yep, I've seen most of these. Terror of the Tides, I've not seen this. It's a sea monster, which is really good because we're probably going to be playing Shadow Isles and Bilgewater together. Maybe some sea monster variant, maybe not. Attack, give enemies minus two, minus zero this round. Sea monster allies have fearsome. Insane, just insanely powerful. Like, you don't even have to run Maokai to have this run people over. S sea monsters. Let's go. And that is the actual end of the reveal. 
Um, wow. There's so many cards to play with and so many decks that I'm excited for personally. I will be streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. Eastern starting tomorrow after this video has been posted. So if you're curious about any decks, you have any questions, uh, feel free to stop by my stream. I have it linked in the description below, twitch.tv slash tempo13x. I'll really appreciate, you know, a quick follow. Uh, again, I love answering questions and teaching about the game. So with that, I have to say thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you thought this video was informative or entertaining. It really helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate the support. Laters.